What is going on everybody? I'm Jay, DCA Adventure, back again with another video and today we are going to talk about Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum. If you guys like our content, please like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Also, if you guys would like access to our awesome trading script, uh, you need to join the Patreon group and by joining uh, my tier trading with the view, you will get access to the DCA trading script and you will get access to the private channel inside our Discord. Uh, we post uh, trading signals in there and you guys will get to see uh, what we're looking at first before these videos come out um, We got all kinds of new guys in there shout out to all of you who have joined we really appreciate you guys uh, This is because of you is why we are able to uh, Keep making content and keep doing the things that we're doing um, We also have individual discords links for those will be in the description uh, mine is crypto mentors join there you will have access to um, Astro Perks trading bots and he is coming out with a new one uh, it, it's an auto trading bot that you can use on Binance Futures uh, website so go ahead and check that out guys also Doge Lord Apparel go there get some DCA swag use coupon code free shipping you will get free shipping inside the US and alright guys we are gonna jump into it um, today's video is gonna be kinda short we're gonna go through this a little bit fast uh, but this is a we're going to flip back here to Bitcoin on the monthly. Uh, I think across the board, a lot of people were very bullish and there is some bullish signs, signs inside the chart, but we are going to look at some of the bearish. Uh, that way we can kind of get a look on what's going to happen, what, what to do in case we do get a break. Um, you guys know on the monthly chart, I have been drawing this uh, humongous uh, bull flag and I want to just keep coming back and showing you guys what it looks like as we progress and you can see we did get a nice break to the upside of the flag um, a, a monthly candle close above here would be uh, very ideal it'd be very bullish in my opinion um, obviously we still have 26 days uh, left in the monthly candle so anything could happen in that time um, if you would have longed here like we have been learning in the patreon in the patreon channel you guys would have uh, put a long in right here outside of the flag uh you'd still be in pretty nice profit right now but we got to get above the 10.5 uh before we can start a new uptrend um are we going to do it i i think we might might take another shot at it i don't think uh i don't think it's gonna gonna hold i think it'll be short-lived and i and i expect that we come back down uh, but we'll get into that and why I think, why I think that. Uh, but yes, uh, close above here. We do got the 21 monthly moving average coming in as support. Um, so if we did get a breakdown and we came back inside the flag, I would uh, be looking around the $7,400, $7,500 at the low uh, for a buy-in. And, and, and guys, if... if Bitcoin, I think we've had too many up days. As you can see, we got boom, 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 three monthly candles. Um, I think I think we need to take a breather. I think Bitcoin needs to reset itself. And, and w if it does, that's just good. Um, it's healthy when it does this. So a nice reset, um, you know, it's, it's healthy and it creates a good buying opportunity for the rest of us. So uh, I don't think it's time yet for bull run. I, we need, interest in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency to go up. Um, we need institutions to come in. Um, we need liquidity. We need volume. Um, and until we get all of them things, uh, we're not ready to be in a bull run quite yet. And they will come. I, my macro uh, vision on, on cryptocurrency and Bitcoin is bullish. But at the same time, I don't think we're we're ready yet. I think we need to reset. I think it would be a nice, healthy uh, move, and then <clears throat> slowly uh, start moving back up and and get into a new bull run. You know, set a new trend. Uh, we're gonna scroll down here onto the daily, or we'll take a look at the two-day first. I got more moving averages pulled up there. Um, we do have this trend here. You can, uh, it's, it's on a lot of the higher time frames. Um, you can see this is a valid trend until we have a candle breakdown below and close. And when that happens, 
uh, then the trend will be invalid. But we do have the uh, 21 period moving average on the two day and you can see that it has made a cross um, above the slower moving averages. So uh, that's, you can expect to move up when that happens. And now that uh, this, the, the slowest moving or the fastest moving average we have is on top of the rest of them. Our candles are on top of the moving averages, which is very good. Um, you can play uh, the strategy of every time we test that moving average, you could probably take a long position there. Um, obviously, if we break below, uh, be looking to short and be looking for a retest back as resistance before continuation down. Um, that's if we break below that moving average. But it does look like it is at support. And if, if we did see a, a retest of it, we'd be looking at the 91 area, 92. And that brings us right back over here to the uh, support and resistance of this head and shoulders we had a while back. So uh, this is a very tough area for Bitcoin to break. 10,000, 10,200 area. I would think that we'd probably could see again here in the near future and then, and then maybe a drop. Uh, let's go to the one day. As you can see, the the 21 day moving average is is right up even tighter. Uh, it's acting as support right here. Uh, we did test it earlier today. We still have two hours and 31 minutes left in this daily candle. At the re time of recording, it is 5:30 p.m. and it's 6:4/2020. So you guys will see this a little bit later today. Uh, the the daily will probably be closed by then. I think it'll be real close to it. Um, so close above this moving average is is bullish. Uh, it, that would be a good sign that we could probably get the move up here to the 10,000, 10,100 area. Um, that's that's an, a tough spot of resistance. So I'm looking for a rejection there. Uh, I'm going to probably short that area. And then we'll see where we're going to take profit. We probably obviously back down here at the, the 92, 93 area, right at the, the 21 day moving average. Uh, we did have a golden cross back here. And if you guys remember on the last video, we said that uh, on the golden crosses, uh, that's when the 50 crosses the 200, we normally get the opposite move. So we get the down move and that happened. And then, then we got to move to the upside. So uh, with the long-term trend that we had here, um, you can see we did break it, been bouncing off of this line as support. Just another another little area to keep in mind, keep looking at. But I, I would like to see a retest all the way uh, back down here to the 200 day moving average around $8,000. Um, 75 being the lowest area where I'm looking guys uh, in this area. Well, set about 7,000 to 75, we'll draw a box in here. That way everybody can see kind of the area so 65 to 7, 71, and then we will be looking at 1,200. That's a nice little area from, so in the very beginning, if we get to break down, you know, be looking for the, the drop down to the 50 day moving average, right around the 87, $8,800 area. Um, and then obviously uh, bounce around in there for a minute. We break, su uh, break support there and then be looking down here at the 200 and 100 day. Um, and that's the area of, we got 81 to 77. So it's right around in them areas, guys, are the three key areas that we're looking at um, in these boxes. You can draw these. Remember, we look at support and resistance as areas. Uh, it's way easier to make your game plan accordingly and put set your entries and your stop losses. You kind of you get a little bit better grasp on what to do there. Obviously, if we break to the upside, guys, we're still looking for the ten thousand five hundred area. I think between ten ten thousand to ten thousand three hundred is a is a tough spot for Bitcoin uh, until we can get above that and get a nice nice close above the 10.3. I'm not bullish at all. I'm still looking for the breakdown. 
don't don't get excited yet guys I'm still kind of sitting on my hands waiting for this to play out yet before I enter any any big trades all right uh, let's take a look at ethereum all right we'll go back on to the monthly Same thing with Ethereum, guys. We got the 21 month moving average, uh, 21 period. Here, yeah, it's 21 month moving average. Uh, coming in as support down here at the 177 mark. That would be one of the lows I'm looking for on a macro uh, trade here for, for it to reset. If Bitcoin resets itself and the market resets, you know, obviously ETH is going to and it's going to dump. And, and it, ETH is known for having a nice huge dump. So. Uh, 177, 170 is going to be the first area I'm looking for. And then obviously we could get back down here into the low of, of $100 right around in there. Uh, you, you could draw a triangle here. And, and, and just play your triangle, play your breakout. And, and Patreon guys know how we're doing this. A uh, nice little setup here. Uh, we are at the top of the triangle. Uh, a close uh, uh, above it, a break above it, and a close would be uh, ideal. What you'd want to see, um, you get the breakout, and then you want it to come back and retest, uh, validate as support, continuation on. Uh, so if that happens, we will be trading the break. Um, obviously, if it, this doesn't happen and we do poop all the way back down, that would be a, a nice shorting opportunity. This is where you would want to short or trade inside of a triangle when you are on such a high time frame like the monthly. Uh, we can go look at the weekly on Ethereum. Like, we didn't look at the weekly on Bitcoin, so I'll scroll back to that. Sorry, guys. Okay, on the weekly here, the 21 week is getting, it did cross the 50 week and it is getting ready to cross the 100 week. Uh, that is a very bullish sign um, on a weekly chart. Something to, to keep mind of. Like I said, guys, we could still potentially see Bitcoin pop up there to the 10.3 um, being the high that I'm looking at. Uh, so, it, it, you know, with that being said, there's still room to move up. Uh, you look at the RSI, you look at the DCA uh, trading script everything has room to move up so we still might get the spike up before actually coming down and with the with the moving average just crossing here this is a bullish sign so you know be expecting uh, anything to happen especially if this 21 crosses the hundred uh, you do see the 200 uh, weekly moving average coming in as resistance right here we did test it that is at the $254 mark. Um, did reject off, well, I can't say rejected. So far, it has bounced off of it. Um, we will see, we've still got three days left. Three days, three hours left in the weekly. Something to, to pay attention to, guys. Um, if we close inside of the triangle, I would be looking for the short, um, at least back down here to 197. That would be the 100 day moving average, uh, the 20 or 20, that'd be the 100 week moving average. And then you got the 20 week moving at 21 week moving average coming right in there as support as well. So right in that area of 190 to, yeah, it'd be about 200 to 190 right around in there as a support. Be looking for that. Let's check the one day. Um, daily showing that we do got the 21 day moving average obviously it's acting as support we are on top of it and and when the candles and and everything is on top of the moving averages like this and you got your fastest moving average on top of all of your other ones um, this is the best time to trade longs um, on a scalping level on a swing trade level uh, you can trade, it, it, it takes longer on higher time frames. Uh, this being a daily, obviously it's gonna, it, big move back down here to $218. So if it did come back down and test this moving average, I would be looking for the long position here. 
obviously we've tested up here in resistance a bunch of times and looking left on the chart you see that we got old support it is carrying all the way over to the right of the chart as resistance but we're going to draw a box uh, we'll start it right in there and this is our area of resistance we're looking at 256 down to around the 245 area so that that zone there is where we need to break um, if we could get a close, if we could get up inside of here and get a close, that would be about that would be neutral. Um, it still could go either way. We we need to get up above the top side here uh, and get a close before we uh, would have a chance to to move higher. We're gonna go back to the Bitcoin real quick on the weekly, and now we'll go over to Coinbase, or go over to Litecoin. I'm sorry. Um, as you guys can see on the weekly, we're still in this triangle um, on the outside of it now. A close on the outside of this on the weekly would be bullish. Um, get these boxes out of here. I don't know if any of the Patreons are trading um, as high as a weekly uh, level. But if they were and they had the candle or had this triangle drawn, uh, they'd be in pretty good shape right now. You could actually, it should probably be more like this here. Um, but yeah, as soon as you get to break, if they would have longed here, put their stop loss back inside of the triangle, uh, they'd still be up very well right now. Uh, we got the 21 week that crossed under the 50, so that we did get the drop here. Uh, we are coming together again and, and getting ready to uh, to cross again. So we may see that spike up that I was talking about to the 10.5. It's another reason why I think we might see it. Um, if we look at... Bitcoin with the RSI on the weekly... Uh, you can see when we touch down here and it's it's you can see that it doesn't you know hardly ever get into the over um, sold area on the RSI on the weekly uh, but you can see that when we did hit the bottom we got a nice move to the upside <clears throat> we hit the bottom got a nice move to the upside uh, but we still have room to go guys uh, we're still pretty far from the oversold so we'll see what happens or from the overbought area so we'll see what happens um, we get up over into the overbought, uh, that could be right around in the 10.5 by then, and then we could, could see our drop. If you look at the MACD, uh, the MACD is crossing too as well on the weekly. Uh, it, does, it, it takes a long time for this to happen, and when it does, it, uh, it's usually pretty good. Uh, but it, it does look like uh, it's going to cross under. So we may be heading down now. It may be time to, to come down. I may not get the spike up to the 10-1, the 10-2, the 10, 10 3 area. Uh, we may just head down now. It, you just got to be ready. Uh, we got flags drawn, triangles drawn. We're looking at our key areas of support and resistance. Uh, th that way you guys can, you, you can play it either way. You don't have to be right on up, down, you know, sideways. But we did get a cross here. That's a bullish cross. Uh, we did start moving up. We are sideways kind of on the weekly, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Again, guys, I'm still waiting. I'm not actively in any trades right now. I'm kind of just waiting it out. Um, all right, now we're going to go to Litecoin. That way I didn't have to put all my indicators back up there. I could I just switched it right over. 
All right, Litecoin looking very bearish. Doesn't look good at all uh, as far as the monthly chart looks. You got the 21 month moving average coming right in as uh, resistance at the $59 area. Um, and we have 26 days left in this monthly candle. Uh, right now it looks like a doji. I don't think it's gonna stay like that. Uh, I would be looking for a test or a spike at least up to the $59 area. Uh, be looking for a rejection there. Be uh, looking to short there. Uh, it doesn't mean that that it is going to reject. I mean, it's tested it a few times in, in through the monthly chart. So we may actually get to break above. If we get to break above it at the $59 area, obviously you guys want to see that retest uh, come back and validate a, as support and then take off. Uh, w when we are under it, it is acting as resistance when we are under the, the moving average. Uh, scroll down, look at a two day chart. had this head and shoulders pattern here on the on the two day which gave us a, a nice big dump another head and shoulders right here uh, gave us a nice big dump you guys can see them and you know the knowing these patterns and being able to recognize them is very important especially head and shoulders it's one of the most important patterns that we get so being able to identify these and the inverse ones and knowing when it's uh, time to short and time to long uh, is very important. So study up on the head and shoulders. We did get the 50 uh, period moving average across under the, the 100 period moving average. That's another reason why we went down a little bit. And now it is acting as resistance here, guys. You can see that we are hitting that 100 day and bouncing off of it. Uh, it looks like we're using the the 50 period moving average as uh, support. So you know if we come up here and test this 100 period moving average again, be looking for a, a short position at the $49 area. Um, but like I said, guys, it could always break above there. And if it does, that's when you you want it to come back, test as support. Um, and if it validates, then you want a long right there. Uh, and then obviously up here at the $66 200 period moving average is is a potential area to be watching uh, first little struggle if you do break up above here and we get above the 100 period uh, i would be looking for the areas anywhere between 50 and 55 dollars to take profit uh, that's going to be another tough area of resistance that it's going to have to push through before making it up to test this uh, 200 period look at the one day Uh, yes, nice. Uh, got the 21 moving average crossing above the 50, potentially the 100, um, and that's pretty bullish on a one day uh, time frame. So we may get a nice little pump back up here to the 200 day at the $50 area, guys. Now, again, just be, be watching this area. It has to break above and come back and, and validate as support before, before uh, entering any kind of trade. So be watching that for Litecoin. Obviously, if we break down and we get the reset that I that I want to see, um, forty dollar area down to the low, probably around thirty three, thirty four dollars on Litecoin. But uh, that's all I got for tonight, guys. Sorry it was so short. We've had some technical difficulties getting things working here. Um, but uh, I'll be in the Discord and. If you guys, you know, join the Patreon, get in there, we'll get you the DCA script. And we will teach you guys uh, the safe, easy ways to uh, to make trades and easy stuff to look for and uh, help you out. But uh, please smash the like, guys. I really appreciate it. Also, um, I do trade on Femex Exchange. I trade on Bybit. Links for those will be in the description. Uh, if you guys want to, you know, use them links, get get it get with me um, give me your UID that you used my link and you deposited and I'll do a one on one with you and we'll get you going and get you started uh, but yeah you guys have a good night and uh, we'll see you on Friday for the live stream